Hello friends, in previous classes we studied about the construction, working and the principles of PN junction diode. Now in today's class we will be studying about the input and output characteristics of a diode which basically means the IV characteristics or the current voltage characteristics of a diode. So let's begin. <music> As you know, a PN junction diode is made by a P and an N stripe semiconductor joint in the form of a PN junction diode. The circuit diagram to study this characteristics is as this. Now here you can see a diode which is connected to a resistor. Now the function of this resistor is just to limit the amount of current flowing through a diode. Since diode is a semiconductor device, it is very sensitive to current. So you cannot afford to have huge amount of current passing through diode. This is the ammeter which measures the current flowing across the diode, voltmeter which measures the voltage across the diode and this is the voltage which is connected. As you can see this is the positive potential and this is the negative potential. The circuit diagram clearly says that the positive is connected to this P type and this negative is connected to N type. Therefore, you can say this diode is as of now connected in forward bias. Now, again, how would you make this reverse biased? Just by reversing the voltage and that voltage we call as reverse voltage. Now, to plot this, we'll be drawing a graph, the axis of which appears like this. The X axis have two labels, forward voltage on the positive Cartesian coordinates and the reverse voltage on the negative side. And on the y-axis, we have forward current and the reverse current. So basically, you can say this axis is nothing but as your input. You are providing input in terms of voltage and this axis is nothing but as output. You are obtaining output in the form of current. Now, you have applied the voltage and diode being in forward bias begins to conduct after a particular voltage. Now, you have seen in the previous class that a diode has to overcome that potential barrier to start conduction which is called as the forward biasing voltage or the barrier potential. So when you turn on the circuit, the current will flow. This is how the current will flow and I have stopped this graph at this particular point to make you understand how the mechanism actually works. Well. At this point, you can say your diode is just about to conduct. When I mean to say just about to conduct, you can technically say that at this particular point, your diode is not actually conducting. Although you can see some amount of current for the corresponding voltage on the later side, but that current is very minimum to be called as conduction. Now, so we mean to say that in this zone, diode does not actually conducts or it is turned off. So this is the point of voltage where diode just begins to conduct and this point of voltage is called as forward bias voltage. Now for forward bias voltage for silicon this value is equals to 0.7 volts and for germanium it is equal to 0.3 volts. Now we studied in the previous class which is better although germanium is having less forward bias voltage which means that this diode will start conducting for a very small amount of voltage but silicon will take approximately double of the voltage to just conduct. Now beyond forward bias voltage what will happen? Well, beyond this forward bias voltage point, a diode will start behaving as an ohmic device. Now, what is ohmic device? Ohmic device is the device in which the I and V or the current and voltage relationship is almost linear. So you can expect the graph to be just like a straight line. This is the reason why I broke this graph in the center. Now, in exams, also you have to plot the graph the same way. Do remember, this is the most important question for your university exams, so stay focused. Now, as you can see, in the forward bias condition, your diode first does not conduct electricity up till a point which is called as the forward bias voltage. And beyond this point, your diode actually starts to conduct 
wherein we mean that the diode behaves like an ohmic device. Now what is ohmic device? It is the device wherein your current and voltage show a linear relationship or you can say that V is directly proportional to R which is nothing but as Ohm's law. Now so far so good. This completes the forward bias condition of a PN junction diode's IV characteristics. Now what would happen if I reverse the voltage? Now if I reverse the voltage, I'll change this positive and this negative to negative and as you know, if you turn the polarity, your this diode will now be reverse biased. Now what is reverse biased? Well, realize this fact that in reverse bias, the band gap or the potential barrier starts to increase. The depletion region starts to increase. Well, it cannot increase above the length of the diode of course and therefore there will be a breakdown. So in reverse condition if you start to increase the voltage what will happen the diode at first will not show any conduction as you can see in the reverse bias my diode is not showing any current up till this point. Now this is the point till which a diode is almost in cutoff zone or you can say it is not conducting. Well, a very important question here which could be a question for your YY as well. Do note that although in graph this region X and this region Y appears very similar but this is not actually the case. In practice this X is nothing but as 0.7 volt for silicon and 0.3 volts for germanium but this Y is huge enough it is almost greater than 100 volts at times so the examiner could ask you what is the correlation between x and y so you mean to say that y value is higher as compared to the x value or indirectly you can say that the reverse breakdown voltage this can be an important question for your viva so do note that what is the correlation between y and x it is important to note that the y range is much higher as compared to the X range. Now this point till which a diode does not conduct in reverse bias is called as the breakdown voltage. It is called as the breakdown voltage. Now what is this breakdown voltage? This breakdown voltage is the point beyond which a diode will start conducting electricity as in the form of non-linear relationship. Now what does that mean? Now that actually means a kind of an avalanche breakdown. Now what is avalanche breakdown? Avalanche breakdown is the point which will come in your Zener diode characteristics. Well it is also applicable to PN junction. So what is this point? This point states that if you try to reverse bias a diode beyond a certain voltage of course the depletion region is going to increase but it will increase to a particular level and after that it will just start to flow the current in a violent way. Now how to actually visualize this? Well visualize this in the form of an elastic band. You can stretch an elastic band up till a point wherein it does not break and the point at which it breaks of course gives you a significant hurt on your hands. So this is what an avalanche breakdown actually is signified. Now you can say that in diode similar thing happens up till a point your diode does not allow to conduct electricity it is resisting it because of its depletion region now once this breakdown voltage is passed your current is going to flow violently and this is depreciated by this graph as you can see for a very small amount of change in the voltage there is a huge change in the current now why is this a reverse current? Another important question. This is the reverse current which means that the current will flow from the N to P. So basically in forward bias when your current flows from P to N, I mean to say the conventional current flows from P to N, in reverse current it flows from N to P. So this is the point where your diode is actually now not working. Now. In a nutshell, this is the graph for PN junction diodes IV characteristics. So basically, 
it is divided into two regions. One is the forward bias region and the next is the reverse bias region. In forward bias region, your graph is almost zero or it just does not conduct electricity up to a point which is called as the forward bias voltage and after crossing the forward bias voltage your I and V relationship goes linear and the doubt becomes a linear device or it shows a linear relationship between voltage and the current. Whereas in the case of reverse bias your diode does not conduct electricity up till a point and then after which there happens an avalanche breakdown. This avalanche breakdown is nothing but as the immediate flowing or violent flowing of the current because the depletion region has now been set off. Now, I'll just give you a practical example how to read a diode. Well, if you try to buy a diode, it will always be numbered in the form of 1N4007. This is the diode number. So, if you reverse the last three digits, which is 007, it comes to 700 volts. So this is the reverse breakdown voltage. So whenever if you are buying a diode, always reverse the last three digits to get the reverse bias condition. So this diode is used till a point wherein you don't want to exceed more than 700 volts. So for this diode, if you exceed the reverse voltage beyond 700 volts, of course this diode is going to blow off. So this is how a diode is being read. Examiner could ask you to read the readings of various diodes in your practicals. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more content, stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.